Hi guys and welcome back to Chef's Choice. I'm finally back after an inspiring but exhausting week in three cities. I'm going to make a video about my time in Amsterdam soon, but first things first, in this video I want to talk about my experience at the Eurovision in concert and my impressions of the 34 acts that performed there. It was my first time at a Eurovision event and I had so much fun. The atmosphere at the concert hall was amazing and everyone was singing along and waving their flags. I had a great time and even got a picture with some of the artists, which I usually never do because I'm not the fangirl type of guy. But when the opportunity presented itself, I couldn't let it slip away. And I might have been a little drunk by then since it was at the after party of the concert. So yeah. But now let's start with my impressions of the first 10 of the 34 acts that attended the concert in the order of their performances. If you want to see what I have to say about the rest of the performances, just subscribe to my channel because I will talk about them in the next two videos. By the way, you can find the recordings of the performances that I'm talking about on the VVBlogs channel. I will put a link in the description so you can make your own impression, but only after this video, okay? Ireland. It was a strange choice to open the show with this, and I felt a little sorry for Brandon Murray, because it's not easy to open with this song. But he did a great job, and he seems like a really sweet guy. He clearly was nervous, which I understand, when you have to be the first one out on stage, but his vocals were on point. And the one thing that was lacking for me was star appeal. Bratton's got a brilliant voice, but on stage you need more than that. And the fact that he was dressed like he just came from school didn't boost his stage presence either. So unfortunately, I still think he won't qualify for the grand final. Spain. What was interesting to see is that there was still some animosity towards him because of the way he was elected during the Spanish national final. There were people in the crowd shouting Mirela or even booing him out, which I think is unfair. He should be given the same respect like everyone else. Manel Navarro seems like a really nice guy, but I do feel he's completely out of place in this contest. He would be perfect to play in a nice beach bar in Spain, but for a contest like this, his song is simply not strong enough. Georgia. Is she called Taco or Tamara now? I've seen both in the last weeks, but I don't know which one she goes with. Anyway, she's such a gorgeous woman that just demands attention on stage. She's classy, she can sing and her styling is sexy, but doesn't distract from the song, unlike other acts that I will talk about later. I think she herself brings all that's needed to qualify for the final, but I'm still not certain about the song. The more I hear it, the more it feels like a James Bond theme. It's still one of the better female ballads in this year, in my opinion, so I'm keeping the faith in this song and would love to see her in the final. But being the second act in the semi-final and the first out of three uh, consecutive ballads, it's going to be tough. Lithuania. Unlike her performance in the national final, Victoria wasn't alone on stage this time. She was accompanied by the guitarist Denisas. But to be honest, he didn't add anything to the performance. He was just there and didn't have any connection whatsoever to the singer. I think she would be better off performing alone because she stands out and the guitarist just distracts from her. She's unique in her style and can carry the weight by herself. In fact, I was positively surprised by the energy that she brought to the stage. But I still don't think it's, this energy will come across enough on camera during the semi-final in Kiev. Poland. This was one of the performances that I was looking forward to the most, because I just didn't get why it's such a strong favorite for many people. And uh, to be honest, I still don't understand it. Kasia Mosh sings it really well, but it doesn't touch me emotionally in any way. It's just not captivating, and I wasn't alone with that perception. Compared to other acts, the audience stayed quite calm during her performance. I didn't feel this certain spark going through the, through the crowd that I felt, for instance, when Navi Band from Belarus were on stage. In my opinion, this song shouldn't make it to the final, but it probably will just because it's Poland. And I know I'll be getting a lot of hate for that, but that's just my opinion. Norway. This song is slowly getting higher and higher on my personal list, but it's still not very memorable because the performance is too chilled and laid back. They really need to put a visual spectacle together for Kiev to push themselves into the people's minds. Joust himself should be a bigger part of it than just standing behind his computer and pressing a few buttons. That's simply not interesting to watch, especially because the singer as well doesn't have enough stage presence to make up for it. Light the stage on fire or something to give them something to feed energy off. Germany! Or should I say ger meh -ni. This was a letdown for me. It's a great song to sing along, but it just isn't capable of exciting the audience enough. There are worse songs in the competition, like Spain, so it probably won't end up on the last place at the final, but it's close. I'm usually for simple performances with just a singer on stage, but Lavinia needs help to jumpstart this song. 
give her some background singers, some props, just something to make it more exciting. Otherwise, I can just listen to it on the radio. Albania. First of all, Lindita looked like she was just hanging up her clothes to dry and got wrapped in the clotheslines or something. I mean, she has the body to wear something like this, but I don't think it did the performance any favor. And it definitely didn't help me remember her song better, because I was too fascinated with her outfit choice. So the chances for her to make it to the final are slim for me. Especially with 14 acts coming after her in her semi-final, she will be forgotten quickly. But I have a deep respect for her for when she stopped the performance after the first few lines, because they accidentally played the, the version with the vocals instead of the instrumental. And of course, she slayed the vocals after that perfectly. Hungary. There's not much new to say about this, because Yossi Papai brought the exact same performance of the national final to Amsterdam. I'm guessing he will keep this up for Kiev as well, which I think is not a good idea. I still think it's going to be hard to get the Western Europeans on board like that. In my semi-final prediction, I nevertheless said they'd qualify, but I've actually changed my mind now. He didn't convince me enough with this live performance. Finland. I'm finishing this video with another letdown. I love this song and I knew it would be hard to bring this atmosphere across live. They are probably among the ones where staging is the most critical aspect. It just doesn't work in the context of this concert. It needs a great lighting, it needs good camera angles, it needs less dreary outfits and it needs more charisma by Lena. If she can't bring the emotions across through her voice but also through her face, it won't be convincing enough to pick up the phone. She might have gotten a good spot in the semi-final coming after Montenegro, where a lot of people will be longing for a song like this, but I think their chances of qualifying are about 50% at the moment. So, these were the first 10 of the 34 performances. If you want to see the rest, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications. That way you won't miss anything. And now I would like to know from you about which of all the 43 songs you have changed your mind over time the most. So. Which one did you like at the beginning but not anymore or the other way around? Tell me in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye.